Windows Update Disabled. Now, there's a lot of different ways people have gone about doing this in the past. The one in my toolbox has um, only disabled updates for a very brief time before it would get re-enabled by that. Well, a uh, big shout out to Jay's Two Cents covering the utility. I've now made it a nuclear option, meaning if you disable op the updates in my toolbox, it will stay disabled forever, which I have to caution you that will open you up to security issues. However, given the state of current Windows update and it could possibly breaking your SSDs and other uh, equipment, uh, I think we need to go into it. So let's just say you can see updates working right there. I'm going to show you exactly what I did to disable it this time. So uh, we're going to actually launch into WinUtil. We're going to go to the updates tab. Now, uh, this is going to be the version of today. So if you check your versioning, just go about, you can see it's going to be 25.09.05 for the version today. Uh, if you're on an older version, just know you need to update or, or download the new one. Disable updates. Not recommended. It leaves you open to security risks. You guys know yada, yada, yada. Uh, we'll hit enter. First off, it only used to disable bits in Windows Update Service. Now we're adding about three or four new services in. We're also unregistering the DLLs, meaning if Windows tries to repair itself, it's going to fail. Uh, so we're going to take those essential DLLs for those Windows Update services to launch and rename them. Uh, we're also going to go through and clean up any downloaded update files. This is the software distribution folder within Windows. Any updates that are pending, let's say you have that really nasty one, you're like, oh God, I hope it doesn't install, but it's just sitting there downloaded. We'll have no worries. After you do this, it will go through and clear out those files. So this actually probably is good to do from time to time regardless. On top of that, after it finishes clearing out the update files, we're going to go to Task Scheduler. I went through Task Scheduler and looked for any update related tasks, orchestrators, and those types of things that could also repair update and run updates. Uh, specifically, when I watched Jay's video, when he covered my toolbox, I noticed that he said he did a lot of benchmarking, and during those benchmarks, sometimes update tasks would go off. Uh, so shout out to Jay. Here you go, brother. I, I appreciate the shout out, and uh, I wanted to make sure you can use this for any kind of benching that you do, because it will not update for sure now, and it will make sure these scheduled tasks don't run during any kind of benchmarking. And for gamers out there, uh, this won't run during gaming. So this actually is a pretty good thing uh, given the state of Windows. So now it is disabled. We will need to reboot. So I'm gonna go ahead, shut everything down. And it's really important to know on this, you know how to re-enable Windows Update because there's gonna be time certain programs will need Windows Update. Also, you're probably going to want to do this every two or three months whenever Windows has a stable update cycle. <laughs> Who knows when that will be? But you will need to update because there's security updates for Windows and you will be vulnerable if you don't update for an extended period of time. I can't emphasize that enough. So know how to re-enable it. But first, let's show you updates should be thoroughly broken and there's no chance Windows will be do able to do anything with the settings in Windows Update. All dependencies have been removed and disabled, and I took them and backed them up. So even if Windows tries to repair itself, it will fail, and updates will be permanently disabled until, uh, of course, I did an undo for this. So let's relaunch that, and we're going to go back into updates, and you'll see the exact opposite happen. So I took what I'd done with my update script, went ahead and take those back files, put them back into their proper and re-register them with the system. So we'll hit default settings here. You'll see it go through with a fine tooth comb, grab those. Then we're going to take, rename those old back files to the DLLs, re-register them with Windows, and then go and clean up all of task scheduler and re-enable all those scheduled tasks. And there we go. You also saw a little window pop up for group policy update. This is also updating and clearing out any policies that might prevent updates as well. So I try to uh, think of every single situation that would cause updates to fail. So when you hit default settings, it should revert many other people's update blockers as well. I have noticed a rise in 
services running in the background to block updates. I don't like this. I used to use like Sortem's update blocker tool, which has another one service running in the background. I didn't like this approach. That's why I created this approach, which I think is much uh, better. And you don't have something, some extra software, third party service running in the background all the time. I just don't like that. So we'll go with settings here, see if it updates Windows. You'd probably see it pops in. Look at that. You're up to date. We're ready to go up to, you probably should reboot here, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Windows is all repaired, ready to go for updates. Hopefully you like this. Big shout out to Jay and everybody. I, I'm uh, really worried about the state of Windows, but I understand some people just can't use Windows. And uh, I'm going to leave you with this fun clip from a live stream. Big shout out to all my Twitch subscribers, YouTube members, and patrons uh, that have signed up through Patreon. So enjoy this fun little clip of a, a potential Linux user that really is just a Windows user. I think programmers that aren't on Linux are insane or they just don't know better. Try Linux. This is a great, that is the person that should be on Linux because my God. Everything that you just said, amazing. Shit, you said I wanna play Battlefield 6, fuck.